review time with us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Talking Dad's here with another bourbon <laughs> review. Uh, tonight we got a, a guest. special guest, Mr. Lewis, my dad, aka Will. <laughs> yeah, aka Dad. AKA <laughs> dad. What's up, Dad? Not. Welcome. I'm looking forward to it. Second yeah. time. Yeah. Repeat am I, offender. Am I your first repeat? No. Other no. 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 Tommy. No. Okay. Brian. All right, we won't get into it. There's yeah, a lot of people yeah, that are. Okay. <laughs> but I live way out of, I live way out of stage. So. <laughs> That's true. So we're here to do a bourbon review. Uh, tonight we have a legend. Um, we've drank this before, but we've never reviewed it. No, we have not. It's good stuff. Um, I'm going to open it. Yeah, you want to open it? Go ahead open and, it. Well, actually, just take the bottle. I'll take the bottle, then I'll have you open it. And uh, tell us what you think. So the bottle's bo- pretty badass. Yeah. I always like their logo, their label. I don't know why. It just kind of looks tough okay. for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's the legend. Mm. I don't know. Something about it. Bottle's cool. Looks like it's got a quality uh, wood on top. Mm-hmm. Nice cork. Is that cork or is that the foam see, shit? That, see, that's big for me. I like the, the nice big solid. Yeah. Caps. Dicks. Oh. <laughs> okay. Gloves are off tonight. That's it. Uh, that is so good. There's, there's nothing off the table. Nothing. Yeah, it's, that's how it's going to start, that's huh? It. That's how it's going to start. Full disclosure, we've been drinking. Already. Yeah, you too. I'm. I just got uh, got here a few minutes ago. No, I agree with you though. It is a it's a good solid cork. Yeah, it is. It's a good topper. You could you could rip that open if you want. I prefer this you side. didn't, but you know. Sorry. Uh, so I've, I've, I've never opened a bottle of bourbon before. I did. Well, you went to the other side, and I wasn't sure if you saw the perforations. Mm. So Legend's pretty cool. Uh, it is a collaboration between uh, Jim Beam and then the Suntory mm-hmm. group. I don't know exactly what they're called. And on top it says Kentucky and Japan. And Japan, yeah. So it's pretty cool. The uh, So the Japanese are really known for their, their ability to blend uh, whiskeys. So they take different barrels and blend them together and make fantastic whiskeys. Um, and then, of course, Jim Beam is a household name in, mm-hmm. in American bourbon. Damn so straight. they got together and said, what can we do to distill something in Kentucky and then mix the, so like beam distilled it and then Suntory mixed different juices together to mm-hmm. come up with the legend. So two true legends. Suntory whiskey is phenomenal. Oh, fantastic. It yeah. is. I'm not a huge fan of like the because it's mostly single malts. Mm-hmm. I'm not a huge fan, but it's basically a Japanese scotch, right? But they're world renowned. I mean, they're they're fantastic. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool. Um, you know, at first when it came out, I thought it was a gimmick. I was like, eh, yeah, all right, cool. But do you really need to do this? But I've had it before. It's it's pretty, pretty good. Good. Yeah. So it's been a while. It's actually. been a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, cool bottle. Kind of basic, but it's got this little like uh, thing at the back. I don't know. Yeah, that thing's pretty cool. I don't yeah. know what it is. I need to see it. <laughs> the thing, the thing. <laughs> that thing is pretty sweet, man. I didn't see it, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it is. Oh, no, I see it's it. a taller bottle. It's got some weight to it. Yeah, it is heavy. We like it's that. Nice and solid, thick you glass. Like, you like the girth, do you? Yeah, it feels good in the hand. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> there it is. I almost didn't turn that up. Uh, but yeah, we it's, got uh, it's solid. It's a cool logo. Uh, like you said, Steve, mm-hmm. you, you know, I agree. Um, so 47% alcohol, 94 proof. Um, but yeah, it's uh, partially finished in a wine sherry cask. Interesting. Will, what do you think of the bottle? Classic. Just got a classic look to it. Know, yeah. Just a nice, easy. You know, I'm, I, I really don't care for the hoity-toity. All the crazy different bottles and everything. Keep you it know, simple. Like even the blends. It's like way too much. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. It's just, just give me a I bottle, get it. bottle I can open. It. That does look pretty. I mean, it's very standard. It's nothing crazy. Nothing. I think it's just maybe the, the wide top. It, maybe is, I don't know. It's it simple, simple, but unique. It mm-hmm. kind of it reminds me of the uh, Stag Junior bottles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which are also pretty kind of nice fatter. And and, yeah. 
Like a good classic look. All right. All right, guys. Well, let's hear a pop. That was good. All right. It was good. Yeah, so it's like that uh, foam. Oh, yeah. actually, plastic. Synthetic cork. cork. Synthetic. Really? Well, you know, that's good for now. It's a review, all right? Don't worry about that. I don't have a driver. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I don't, hey, I'm good with it. I wasn't sure. I don't, don't judge. No judgment here. All right, so Pops, I know you've seen some of the uh, reviews that we do, but uh, the first thing we do is we take a look at the appearance of the, the juice. Whiskey. The juice. See, I think it looks awesome. I love a dark, hearty. Hearty. See, this like doesn't that. look like dark to me. I think well, it. If, I, I pretty much it compare d- everything to like Angel's Envy. Mm. Angel's Envy is a very light, it's light color. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. It doesn't have the body. It doesn't have the bang to it. You know? Yeah, this is definitely darker than that. Um, it all depends on the lighting, right? But definitely a good bourbon color to it, though. Solid. Solid bourbon. Color. Whoa, whoa. Easy. You do not skip steps here. There's a process here. Oh, God, I need like a... Matt, remember I told you, a guy from McAllen, he said, when you, get, when you get scotch, you hold it up at 45 degrees at arm's length, and you tilt it, and you show everybody in the bar what an asshole you <laughs> truly <are. laughs> Because scotch and whiskey are so meant to drink. Yeah. You're right. Not to look at. It's You're tough right. because it, whenever we start this... We pour it, and my first reaction is to smell it. Mm-hmm. And I know we have to do, our, do the appearance first, but always, I always just want to go straight to the nose. Yeah. Every time, I can't help myself. And I want to start drinking it, obviously. Yeah. Good drippies. Give it a little swirl. Give it the swirl. Give it the swirl. Back to the Glen Cairn there. It's oh, yeah. Much better. Solid drippies. It's kind of nice legs. Thank you. Legs. <laughs> They're drippies. Drippies. Thank you. You come on our show, yeah. you drippies. get the name they right. Drippies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, Give it a nose. Yeah. There's nothing too unique about the, the appearance. So. No, I'm going to say it's, like you said, a good bourbon color. Yeah. Goldish, honeyish, a little darker. Yeah. A little, a little rusty. A little rusty. The usual. Hmm. Got a little spice in there. Yeah. A little, a little spice. A little ethanol forward. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Pops? It smells smooth. It does. That almost got to my nose. It does have a little candy? Like a, like a um, sweetness? Like a like a, like a, like a Werther's? Probably, prob- probably the, the sherry barrels. The yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. It's su- there's definitely a sweetness to it. Yeah. Mm. Smells good. I could nose it. I nosed it. I could drink it. Sip it through your nose. We do that yeah. too. Yeah, don't do that. No, we do. We don't drink yet. Oh, Just take it easy. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> y'all got any more of that? <laughs> y'all can I, can I take a sip yet or nah? All right, so nose, we're good. Nose. Yeah. Anything right. you're picking up? Just, I, a lot of the like. He said ethanol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, alcohol. Definitely get alcohol. For, and for only 94 proof, it shouldn't be that hot. It, it, smells, it smells like a barrel proof. Yeah. It really does. But you know what? The Japanese whiskeys have a very heavy smell to them. I think we could drink it. All right. You sure? Cheers. You sure, girl? Actually, we should, we should wait another second just to keep them waiting. <laughs> <laughs> There's some type of spice, like a, I wouldn't say like cinnamon spice, but there's a, sp- a spice to it. Yeah. Uh, for as much ethanol as you have on the nose, there's none on the palate. No, it's there's not like none. No, no bite. Very on the smooth. Finish. It is smooth. Very smooth. Super smooth. It's very easy. It's an easy drinker. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, a little oaky. A little bit. It's got some oak. 
I taste the spice and a little sweetness. Not not too sweet though. No, it's 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 uh, not as sweet as you would think from from smelling it from the nose, and it's not as hot as you would think from the nose. So, I wonder if that's from the the wine and sherry casks. Could kind be. of kind of melt, mellows it out a little bit. You could be right. See, I think that's got a good bourbon color to it, though. You're damn straight. I mean, damn that, that looks like the Knob 120. Mm-hmm. It's a mature oak. Okay, lingering spice. Knob okay. 120 is a little darker, I think, but yes. But it's a good good blend. Like, mm-hmm. Okay, so there you go. Because you had their sweetness. That's your uh, fruits pulled from the wine and sherry casks. Yeah, it's got some, like... Uh, Cherry, apple. Yeah, you get that. Some, maybe some kind apple of apple spice type. Like maybe cherry. Kind of what I, maybe I was thinking about candy. It was like almost like a one of those uh, Jolly some, Ranchers. Yeah, yeah. Those strawberry Not, candies. They look yeah, like strawberries. Yeah, that's what I was they thinking had like, of. They yeah, like the hard strawberry candies. Like, yeah, and it had yeah. the green, and then yeah. Yeah, I get that. I know what fucking kind of candies you guys are eating. They were at your house. I always got them in your candy dish on the counter. Really? I don't think no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fat kid. I would have known that. <laughs> no, you guys had some good food there, man. I remember the uh, the deep fryer. Oh yeah, <sighs> Kyle lived on it. Oh man, <laughs> the thing. All right, the corn dogs. Mm. Legend. Let's yes. do some scores. Oh, value. Value. What do you got? What do you think? I'm gonna go with 55. Do you know? No. Okay, I would go. Uh, I do 65. 37 bucks. Really. Really, wow! Thirty-seven bucks. That might have just—I would kicked it up that, a notch for me. I would buy that all day for thirty-seven bucks. Thirty-seven. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me. Right. So again, this is something that you can't get in Ohio. Uh, Uncle Dan was just down in Kentucky, and he goes, "Hey, you want anything?" And I was like, "You know what? Pick me a bottle, of Legend." Because I had one. And I actually brought it here for, we did a, a show, I think we had it, and it was a quick show. We didn't, we only drank a little bit, mm-hmm. and then it got devoured. Well, yeah, naturally. So I was like, yeah. Also on the, on the label, one. I don't know if you guys noticed this, Mm-mm. the two faces. I did not notice. Ah. See the profile? I do. And then up at the top. So that's probably like maybe the makers. Yeah. I like that. It's very interesting. Yeah. God, that's good. I can always appreciate a good label. Like the one the other day. Had in the background. The back, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Well, um, Ian, why don't you start with scores? It's your turn to start. Or let's start with uh, the guest. So we score one to ten. You can do decimal points. Take all the factors that we uh, talked about into consideration. And there is no wrong score. Oh, I know. You know what? It it really bounced it up for me with the value mm-hmm. because I was ready to go. Eh, you know, six, 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 five. I'm gonna go eight one. Eight, eight one. I like it. Eight one. I like it. I mean, I, I, this it is, is a, really this good. Is a solid flavored bourbon. It is. Sense. And then you're right though with the price. With the definitely price, kicks it up a notch. Kicks it up for yeah. sure. Uh, I agree. Uh, it is the, the, the value on it is superb. Superb is um, the way to put it. I'm not a huge, uh, so, so I started my bourbon love with beam, like white label Jim beam. And then I went <laughs> to the, uh, what's the black label? Um, the devil's cut. Then you went well, yeah, I went the, to the devil's cut. The devil's cut. Yeah. Then you went to the, and then it was always the, the black label was the, uh, what is that? Double aged. No. Yeah. It was aged. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the what black, it's called. Uh, Jack, uh, the Jim beam, Jim beam black. black. Yeah. That's Jim what it is. Black. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, okay. And I drank that for years. I mean, years. That's all I would buy. Um, and then they came out with the double oak. Yeah, but that was I was already past my bean stage yeah. at that point. Um, but this is very, very good. It's very solid. Um, I'm going to go with a a, a seven point six. Okay. Um, and if. I think I'm wanting a little bit more proof on the end, on the finish. I think it's almost too smooth. 
I, for I, what I, I like. See, I still feel the warmth. Do you really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, good. it's a good um, finish on it for it's sure. It's not a heavy warmth, but it's I can feel it down there. It's good. And we were drinking a barrel proof before this. That's so. what she said. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, so, eight one seven six. Okay. So before we go any further, the face is on here. So this is the, by the master distiller. This is Fred No on top, mm-hmm. and this is That's from Beam. Yes, naturally, <laughs> yes. I don't think he's in Japan. <laughs> then Shinji Fukuvo. That's also from Beam. <laughs> <laughs> he's the chief blender. Chief blender. Okay. So he's on the bottom. So those are the faces. That's pretty cool. That is really. I cool. like that. Yeah, um, I didn't notice that. At first. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I was looking at the label, and I didn't catch that. So yeah. we were just sitting there, and I was just staring at it. Um, yeah, so obviously price really plays a big part in my score. Um, it is a really good bourbon. It's uh, got it's good flavor. It's really smooth. It's easy drinker. It's one of those, like, and with the price, it's like an everyday type drink. Like, yeah. you could get that and have it all day. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with a 7... Nine. Woo! I like it. It's good. It's, you know, it's not as hot as I would like, but it's still, like, it has that, that uh, nice finish to it. It yeah, kind of yeah. sticks with you a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it's really good. I like it. Mm. Sucks that you can't get it here. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I, you know, now, now, why is that? Because they only so, release oh, it in Kentucky? Well, no. They, they release it in other states, but Ohio is a control state where... They have contracts, and they only get certain stuff for, for the year. So it might be. So that only came out last year. Uh, tail end of 2019 is when that was first, I believe. So Dan got you the, your bottle last time? No, last time or you got it I got there. it when I was there. Okay. Um, and then we went through it, and I didn't really get to enjoy it. So when Dan was down there a couple of weeks ago, he goes, hey, uh, you want anything? I was like, yeah, I could do another bottle of Legend. He's like, okay, done. So it's good stuff. All right, well, yeah. So uh, eight one seven six seven six seven seven nine. nine. That's a solid review. It is. That was good stuff. Thank you, and thank you, Uncle Dan. Yeah. Was that? Yeah, Dan Mar- from his collection. He's the man for sure. All right, well, that uh, is the review. That's the review. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe uh, to the podcast socials uh check out our blog every wednesdays where we put out these bourbon reviews and uh let us know if you've had it and uh if you want us to review anything yep all right that's the review we'll catch you next time cool thank you peace